All right. Am I vlogging? This is my first attempt. I just turned the camera on. I'm vlogging. Oh wait. If this is gonna be anything like reality TV, I better do what's known as greeking the product. I don't know why that term came about or how, but now you've just learned. When the bottles are covered up, when you watch shows like all of those I'm not gonna name, they've been greeked. I, however, feel a little bit punked tonight. See this lovely black wristband? I was out this evening at the Gen Art New Guard event. Gen Art is for emerging designers. Um, and some great people are among their alumni. Jared Gold being one of them. And as Jared has me hired as his host for his upcoming show a week from tonight, that would be Friday the 14th of March, in Union Station, as in the whole friggin' station taken over with a 190 foot long runway thrown down and some seriously delirious glamour. Yeah, alumni like that and a genius like this, you know, it was a party I wanted to attend. Never mind that, oh, let's say today has been just another hellacious day of work. Hosting um, doesn't always entail what, uh, for a fashion event, doesn't always entail what it has for, let's say, club appearances. Particularly those in which, basically, I was expected to show up, look fabulous, turn in the guest list, make sure some pretty people arrive, and dispense drink tickets. Like some, I don't know, Pez machine with a bobblehead. So, this was supposed to be different. Hence the outfit Jared made me. Even though he is slammed beyond belief, and I myself have been working between 12 and 17 hours a day, it may sound like hyperbole, but let me break it down like this. Invites and the assistant of someone important who was smart enough to bring the invites to my apartment. We're here now. This is a corner of my kitchen. Welcome. Uh, this is a box where it's one of the many things that I've received but haven't had a chance to do because of the schedule that I've had. It's called hanging the rest of my frigging curtains, which I had specially made. In fact, even this camera that I'm speaking on, I have a pretty nice video camera, which I purchased about six months ago with the uh, money that I had at the time and definitely don't have now, but I still haven't gotten around to reading the manual, so I'm just going with what I already know. And that's tangents. I'm going on a lot of them, huh? Yeah, me diagnosed as ADD, I don't understand it. I mean, where is it coming from? Point of all this is, let's say a film crew, maybe from a website, theoretically. Let's call that site, I don't know, over. Let's say over.com has agreed to show up to shoot some clips of me along with a lovely friend of mine who um, I'm sure just about all of you would recognize by name, but I'm not going to bring her into this because she had her own complaints this evening. I bet that was an unattractive move, huh? 
I'm really not fond of the low angle. Well, the film crew at this gen art event, which was two floors and full of fashionistas and looky-loos and camera folk, uh, we had agreed to meet at 8.30, where I was supposed to conduct an interview for the first segment of a show, which who knows if I'll even do now, because that show uh, is going to begin with me interviewing um, a very significant person within the Gen Art organization. As soon as I saw her, what did she say? After, hey, great to see you, and then, you know, pleasantries that go along with it, but so when is it we're going to do these this interview. Where's the crew? I don't know where the crew was. I know that when we were parking the car at 8.58, granted that's 28 minutes after we were supposed to meet them at a very large party at a location that doesn't show up on MapQuest after a business matter that I had been taking care of for this company, let's, you know, refer to as over. Um, yeah, the film crew picked up the phone and were friendly, right down to telling us that we shouldn't valet, that we should park. We sent a text message back saying we were parking right then. We actually found parking a block away, which meant we were within the venue in under five minutes. Small block, not New York block, little block. And they were nowhere to be found. Um, and as both my friend and I sent text messages wondering where this event, where said film crew was supposed to be working with us our first time. This is our first interaction with them. Definitely mine. Um, no response. No response. No response. It was great being photographed by lots of other sites. Great seeing people within the fashion industry I hadn't seen in a while. Great wearing around the brooch that I made, especially for the event, to promote Jared's show. Um, but also something that since I have had things like that assistant that I mentioned earlier in my apartment until 5 in the morning assembling invites, which at 7 a.m. I had the pleasure or uh, rather expectation of being awake to deal with couriers and dispensing of them. And of course, there's both phone lines ringing. In the midst of all this, you know, tonight, I still managed to throw it all together. I mean, I threw it together, okay, right? I'm asking this as a rhetorical question, being fully aware of the average audience on the internet and how I'll probably, let's see, get comments along the line of faggot. Really, really original one there, guys. Um, I don't know, something about, oh, there's gotta be some self-hating gays that, that come into the picture. I really love that. I really love self-loathing, straight acting. Um, nope, the term acting as in acting, straight acting gays who are intimidated slash offended by someone like me who's just being who the F I am. This is me, okay? You don't like the eyeliner, you don't like the hair, you don't like the clothes. It has nothing to do with you. Go off in Abercrombieville, go rock your friggin' rainbow flag in West Hollywood, go adopt your children, I'm fine with it. Just don't come to my page and don't watch my videos. It's really simple. I don't watch your lame musicals and I'm not 